In this video, we're going to take a look at how to configure the secure store service in SharePoint Server 2010. Now I'm going to start here on the domain controller because the first thing I need is an account to run the application pool for the secure store service, service application. So I'm going to go to Start, Administrative Tools, and Active Directory Users and Computers. Expand my domain node. Go down to Users, right-click, New, User, and I'm just going to call this Secure Store Service. Use the same for user logon name. Type a password, and of course I don't want to have to change the password at the next logon. And in this case I'm going to choose Password Never Expires. Now you can use an expiring password here if your organization has a requirement for that, and SharePoint Server will actually handle changing the password on a schedule for you. And we'll take a look at how to do that in a little bit. But I'm going to choose Password Never Expires. Click Next and click Finish. And you can see here's our Secure Store Service account. The next thing we need to do is to register this in SharePoint Server as a managed account. So I'm going to switch over to one of the application servers in my farm. And I'm going to go to Start, All Programs, Microsoft SharePoint 2010 Products. And of course I want SharePoint 2010 Central Administration. And here in Central Administration I want to go to Security and click Security. And then under General Security I want to click Configure Managed Accounts. And you can see I have a couple of managed accounts here. I have the Farm Admin account, and I have also a generic application pool account. And I want to click Register Managed Accounts, and I want to type the username and password of the account that I just created, which is Contoso Secure Store Service. And you can see down here there's an option for Automatic Password Change. So if I had selected an expiring password, I could enable this and choose the appropriate parameters here to have SharePoint Server handle the changing of the password for me. Now, in this case, I'll leave this unselected because, of course, I chose the non-expiring password. Click OK. Here's the Secure Store Service account, now as a managed account. The next thing I need to do is to actually start the Secure Store Service on one of the application servers in my farm. So I'm going to go back to the Central Administration home page, and then under System Settings, Manage Services on Server. And you can see down near the bottom here, here's the Secure Store service. It is currently stopped, and I need to start this on one of my application servers. Now you can see if I go up to Server, and I click Change Server, I have two application servers in my farm. I need to start the service on at least one of these servers. Now, because this service is designed to store encrypted credentials, depending on your needs, you may want to isolate it as much as possible and have a specific application server that just runs the secure store service. You can also run it on multiple servers if you need to, to scale it up. In this case, I'll choose App Server 2, and I'll come down to the service, and click Start. You can see it says Starting here. And if I refresh the page, you can see it's now started. The next step is to create a service application for Secure Store. So again, I'm going to go back to the Central Administration homepage. And then under Application Management, I want to go down to Manage Service Applications. And then I'm going to go up to New, Secure Store Service. I need to give it a name. I'm just going to call it Secure Store Service. Type the name of the instance of SQL Server where you want to store the Secure Store database. And this is the database where encrypted credentials will be stored. So again, if you want the best possible security, you may want to consider deploying this database to a different instance of SQL Server than the rest of your SharePoint Server farm. You can also specify a failover server if you've configured SQL Server mirroring. I'll scroll down. I want to create a new application pool. I'm just going to call it Secure Store App Pool. And then I need to choose the account that's going to run the application pool. 
And of course, that's the Active Directory account that we just created and configured as a registered account here in SharePoint Server. And that's Contoso Secure Store Service. We also have an option for an audit log, and this will record the various actions that the Secure Store Service undertakes. I'm going to leave this turned on. This can be useful for troubleshooting authentication issues if you run into them. Click OK. And it successfully created the service application, so I'll click OK again. So here's our Secure Store service, service application. I'm going to click here. And here's our Secure Store service configuration page. And you can see, before we can actually do anything with Secure Store, we need to generate a new key. And this is the key that will be used for encrypting our credentials. So I'm going to click Generate New Key. Type in Confirm a Passphrase. And click OK. At this point, our Secure Store service is ready to use. The next step is to create target applications to define which credentials that you want to store and how you want to map them to various users. And we'll be taking a look at how to work with target applications in another video. You can leave feedback on this video or any of our TechNet content by going to the TechNet topic and clicking the rating and feedback control at the top or bottom of the page. Or you can send feedback to docpi at microsoft.com.